So we're setting up e-commerce flows with OmniSense. So the e-commerce flow we're gonna set up right now is the abandoned cart recovery. And just for your understanding, these are the nine most important e-commerce flows you should set up for your e-commerce store. So here we can see an example e-commerce flow for a cart abandonment campaign. So as you can see, this flow will trigger when someone adds a product to their cart and didn't make a purchase yet within one hour. So then after that one hour, the first email will be sent. Then over here, you can choose to use a split condition, a split action inside your workflow, which basically checks if product X is in your cart. So if product X is in your cart, then go path A, and if not, go path B. So the idea of this split action inside the cart abandonment campaign is that if you only have a few products in your store, so let's say below 10 products, for example, then you can send personalized emails for every product in your store. If you have thousands of different products, then of course you're not gonna send personalized emails, create personalized emails for every product you have in your store. But if you only have a few products, then you can use really personalized emails to only focus on that specific product. So the advantage of using a system like this is of course that you can send really personalized emails. So you can go really deep with the content of this email. So for example, the pros of this specific product, you can uh, mention specific reviews of the people that use this specific product. And if you're looking for inspiration, for your emails, make sure to check out these websites. So mailcharge.com, mail.com, and really good emails.com. I'll leave links to these websites down below in the description. So here's one email example. Your cart is waiting is the subject line. Today only 50% off. The items in your cart are waiting. Then we have other relevant products to the product that is in the cart of the subscriber. So here's another example. There are still styles in your bag. Here we got another example, subject line ready to check out. Then we have this newsletter for getting something. We've saved your cart. But as you can see, these emails are pretty generic. And what I mean by that is it is probably the case that this email isn't fully personalized on this specific product. So if they only have a few products in that store, you can send a personalized email based on this specific product where you can go into all the unique selling points of that particular product instead of only mentioning the price and the title of the product basically. Anyhow, let's have a look at how to set up the cart abandonment campaign inside OmniSend. So first of all, you should have integrated with your e-commerce platform, of course, whether that's Shopify, WooCommerce or whatever platform you're using, make sure to set up that integration beforehand. So you're going to click on automations over here. And then we're going to click on create a new workflow. And then we can search on cart to find a pre-built automation workflow. And as you can see, there's one workflow for the cart. We have a few for the checkouts, but coming back to this screen over here, number five is the checkout recovery. So if someone reaches the checkout and didn't purchase the product, we want to trigger a different workflow. So that is a different one than from the cart. And why is that you may ask? Well, the reason is so you have more control, more visibility on how those separate emails, how those separate workflows perform inside your email marketing. So you can see, for example, the conversion rate for the checkout recovery workflow may be higher or lower than the cart recovery. And you can make tweaks inside your emails based on that data. So coming back to OmniSend, I'm gonna click on this abandoned cart. We're not gonna create it from scratch. Instead, we're gonna use a pre-built workflow. I'm gonna click on this one, customize workflow. So if you're not happy with the title of your workflow, make sure to edit it to make sure you can recognize it in the future. In this case, it's fine by me, abandoned cards. So first things first, if you don't see this trigger screen over here, you're gonna click on this one over here. So the trigger will pop up over here. So as you can see, this workflow will trigger when someone adds a product to their card. So you should use this specific a trigger. So let's have a look at the trigger filters. So as you can see, OmniSense pre-built abandonment card workflow uses this trigger and activity time uh, filter to start the workflow after added product to cart wasn't updated for one hour. And it's probably my preference to just use this delay instead of using the trigger filter. So I'm just gonna uh, uncheck this one and I'm not gonna use this. So I'm gonna turn off this one and I'm just gonna use the delay action inside OmniSense. So we're gonna choose one hour or two hours, whatever you want. So in this case, I'm gonna use one hour. So we're gonna wait for one hour after someone adds an item to their cart. And then we have a few exit conditions over here, as you can see. Condition one places an order. So if someone adds a product to their cart and places an order, 
they will not go through this workflow. Instead, they will be removed from the workflow. So this is an exit condition. They will exit the workflow. Then we have condition two, start the checkout. So we will create a different workflow for the checkout. So if someone abandons the checkout, we will also have a separate workflow uh, aside from the cart abandonment workflow. So we want to remove the subscriber that also started the checkout. And then we have a frequency. So don't send this email to the same person that already has gone through this workflow in the last one day. I think that's fine. I'm going to click on update. So if one of your subscribers don't place an order and they don't reach the checkout point, but they did add an item to their cart, after one hour, the first email will be sent. So in this pre-built workflow, they're gonna use three more emails. So we have email one, wait for another 11 hours, then email two, wait for another 12 hours, and then email three. And of course you can be as creative as you want with this workflow. So one example is you can use the flow action, the split. So for example, if I drag this split, onto the workflow field. So I'm gonna add it over here. And then we can say, for example, so the rule, so we can add a trigger filter, for example, and we can say, we can search on price. So over here we have the price. And then for example, we can say is more than 100. So I'm gonna click on save over here. So if the total card value is more than $100, you can send them a different email than if the card value is less than $100. So maybe you wanna offer a discount for the ones that have a card value of more than $100 and just a reminder email for the one that have a card value of less than $100. So that is just one example of how you can be creative with this card abandonment campaign. But you can think of multiple scenarios of how to trigger your subscribers into purchasing that product they left in the cart. So if you're ready, you can start the workflow and then the abandonment card campaign will, uh, will start.